guys, right, look at the mess. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna to attempt to pack with everything new that we've bought. So Andrew has only got a bit of space in his case, so he said he could take some small bits, but I'm gonna explain how I turn all this mess into two little bags. So first thing I do is, I've got my two bags here, I decide what's going in what. Now this bag I don't want to touch. Once it's packed, I want it closed. I don't want to have to go in it. Anything of the sort. So I'll put everything that I'm not going to need until I get home. Everything that I don't want, want to use until I get home in there. In this one, I'll put my travel jumper, my liquids, my electronicals, and then anything else I can fit in that. So that'll be my go-to bag, so I can keep that under my seat as well. Got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so in terms of liquids, you can have one bag, one, a one litre bag, and per person. So I've brought two of my own. So that's got all my liquids in it, as well as the liquids that I've bought. Now I will show you. So I've got things that are on 100 mils, 30 ml bottle. So you can pop things that are smaller in there as well, rather than everything being 100 mils. So you can carry more in that. So they've got to be able to be zipped up, which they are. I won't try and do that now. But that is everything, all my liquid makeup, my hand sanitizers, shampoos, conditioners, foundations, everything. Now that will go at the very, very top of that bag so that I can take it out for checking through security. So that'll solid and nice and packed. It's not zipping at all, so I'll leave it. Solid and nice and packed there. So I'll leave that on the side. So, and then I've got this other little bag with all the extra bits in it. Tablets, face, cotton pads, yeah, but everything like that that needs to be kept sort of together. Normally I would have a makeup bag, a brush bag, everything along those lines, but with um, hand luggage, I've not I've just tried to save space. So in terms of my powdered makeup, that is my palettes, and my face powder, that doesn't need to get checked. So that just goes straight in the bag. Now where I put it to keep it safe is these little pockets right here. So this suitcase is really good because it's got loads of um, pockets in it. So I put all my powders and everything. The flats here, it just keeps it all a little bit safe. Keeps it all in one place for me as well. I mean, probably had to fall out at some point. Then what I want to do is, I've lost the top, oh I'll have to find that, that's hanging up. Put a thin layer of clothes on the bottom to add a bit of cushioning. Then what I'm going to do is wrap everything up in little t-shirts and we shorten stuff, everything like that to keep that safe and stop it from knocking together. Because if it knocks together, it'll smash it. So because I've got my candles. I've got me cup. Also, on the live the other day, I got worried because I've seen a sign saying um, they won't let that through customs on this end because it's a candle. So I actually got in touch with the TSA myself and asked them, and they said, no, it's fine. So oh, I can still keep it in my hand luggage. I've also got my very, very delicate Mickey hands here. So I am going to pop everything in, so a small layer. Another thing to worry about is the packaging. Even if you not go with hand luggage, take everything off the packaging and take all the labels off everything right down to the stocks because it adds up. And, um, it has so much weight and so much, takes up so much room. There's just no need. Like honestly, you should see how much rubbish you've got back there just from all of this. There's a lot of it. So always try and separate everything. 
so that you can just create more room, create more space, create more weight as well because you don't want to lose any weight or space with the packaging. So that's something that I always do. One. So what I'm going to do now, all sorts. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you on time lapse just so you can watch me pack it and repack it and stuff like that because otherwise you're going to watch me pack it for an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to put you on time lapse. You can watch what I'm doing and how I'm doing everything and how I'm trying to keep everything safe and organised. Like I said, do not want to touch this once it's all packed. That's going to go to bag. And what I'm going to do is I've kept my travel clothes out, but I've got the clothes I'm going to be wearing tomorrow at the very, very top of that suitcase so I can just quickly get them out tomorrow morning, put them back in. So nice, quick and easy. I've had my main shower, so I'll just wash my hair so I don't need to worry about that tomorrow because I'll have a quick shower in the morning. So put you on time lapse and you can see how I do it. As you can see, I've got just about everything in these two bags that weighs a ton. So I've got just about everything in these two bags. I can still fit in more in that. So I've got my tomorrow's clothes, my travel clothes, and just these two to put back in and make me flip flops in Andrews. Oh, these as well. I'll get it all in. But yeah. So that's how I've packed everything up, so I don't need to go back in this one now. Maybe I'll try and squeeze one or two little bits in here. But other than that, all done. Wasn't so bad. Queen of packing, telling you how good I am. Big prize and how good I am at it. So yeah, that was everything. As you can see, that's everything that we've got, everything that we've bought, everything that I came with. Yeah, nice and easy. So tomorrow we're going through Security shouldn't be too bad. I know she caught in Orlando is a nightmare, but it shouldn't be too bad because everything just comes out of here. That just goes straight on the belt and everything comes out of this one. I do keep me put that back. The electronics in my back pocket. So me I put in there right now. So everything electronic will go in here and then on top of the straighteners in as well. So yeah, that is my pack and vlog. That's how I pack. Now when I do pack to go on a holiday, I have a list. I write everything down in lists so I don't forget a single thing. I write everything down in categories as well. So clothes, sundries, liquids, everything like that. Um, so I can't miss anything off. I then organize what clothes, even if I've got a big case, what clothes I'm going to be wearing whilst I'm there. So I'll say I've got like four day tops, four night tops, two day pants, two night pants, one or two bikinis, these shoes, that shoes. And I'll have a look at what can be mixed and matched fashion wise. So you can see, I can see if I can reduce that even more because we do have a washing machine. So I have been doing all my washing anyway. So everything else been staying clean. So we do do that anyway, so I always like to say quite organised with the packing. It's going to be fun doing Andrew's packing. We won't record that one because it's going to be a nightmare, but yeah. That's it. Nice and, ooh, nice and packed, ready to go. I'm not quite ready to go home yet, but I'm already packed. So this will just make tomorrow just that little bit easier for me. 
Christmas. Thank you very much, guys. So we've got all our Florida vlogs on. So take a look at all those, and you can see everything that I'm wearing. So you can see that I've not worn too many different things. I've kept my clothes light, so you can see on the Florida vlog. So thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button, and you'll see plenty more Florida vlogs going up. And then we'll be putting our Tenerife vlogs, Rod to back home, up as well. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below how you like to pack and how you make it easier to pack yourself. I'd like to know if you've got any hints or tips that I can use for my next packing. So thank you very much and um, see you soon. Bye guys.